Welcome to this Valumed product demonstration video. We're going to show you how to perform a urine testing strip test, a URS-10. This is a 10 parameter mission urine testing strip used extensively within the NHS and GP surgeries. The format and parameters on this match all the leading global urine testing strips used in healthcare and clinic settings. So to perform a test strip, Open the vial. This one's already been sealed, broken. Remove your test strip and seal the vial tightly to protect the remaining URS-10 strips in that vial. Now, when you're ready to do your test, the urine sample needs to be collected, ideally a fresh urine sample to be dipped almost immediately. A urine sample can be kept for up to 24 hours at room temperature. 72 hours in a refrigerator or the sample can be frozen for up to 28 days and then retested but the ideal is to test on a fresh urine sample so when you're ready to do your test dip the urine test strip completely in the sample it doesn't have to be a deep sample the test strip is flexible remove it after three or four seconds and tap it vigorously to remove any excess urine from the test strip and then You'll see the pads changing. What we're going to do now is start interpreting these at 30 seconds. And at 30 seconds, you read the glucose and bilirubin, the bottom two. You'll see these both match the negative test results, which are in this column on the very left-hand side of the results. At 40 seconds, read your ketone result, again negative. And at 45 seconds, start interpreting the specific gravity. You'll see this isn't entirely normal at one. The specific gravity, if I go along the row, matches at 1.015 or 1.02, somewhere between those two parameters. Again, that just gives you an indication of the concentration of the urine sample and whether it's within this normal human range. Then at 60 seconds, you're interpreting the blood, pH, protein, urobilinogen and nitrates. So the almost top five pads. Again, these are all negative at 60 seconds. And then the final test strip that you're interpreting is this very top one, which is the test for white cells or leukocytes, which you read at 120 seconds. So you need some form of clock or watch to be able to interpret these accurately. Any color change that occurs on these lower pads beyond the read times on the vial, you should ignore and they will continue to react. Particularly if I go back and have a look at this blood test result or the pH, you may think that this is starting to look a bit green at a 120 or 200 second read time. That is of no consequence at all. You must interpret the results showing on the pad at the read time specified on the manufacturer's vial. Hope that's been useful to you. Shows you how to perform a quick and easy test. The important thing is to keep the vial completely dry and sealed at all times when you're not using the test strips to maintain the longevity of the test strips and to read the pads at the correct read time. Thank you for watching.